Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. This is my very first YouTube video and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about myself and why I decided to start a YouTube channel. My name is Miriam. I have two beautiful children. I live in South Florida and I've been married for 12 years. And I have a beagle puppy named Harley. I started this channel because I wanted to challenge myself this year. I wanted to try something that would take me out of my comfort zone. And let me tell you, this is it. <laughs> Starting a YouTube channel has been completely out of my comfort zone. Even though those that know me would think no, because I'm, I don't know, I've never been a shy person. This whole idea of talking into a camera and talking to yourself, basically, I mean, I know I'm not talking to myself because I'm talking to you guys, but when I'm here in my living room right now, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> So it's kind of weird and it's, and it's an adjustment and you know, there's so many things involved with this, like the lighting and the camera angles and then the editing and I'm just absorbing it all and learning it all and it's, I don't even know where I'm going with this. But what I do know is that today, because I have nothing else to talk about and I am new to this, I'm going to talk about what's in my makeup bag. And, you know, I love these kinds of videos where I get to see what's in people's makeup bags. When I get ready on the weekends, I absolutely use my vanity at that time. When I go out with my husband, I use my vanity. But on a regular Monday through Friday work day, I never use my vanity. I have my makeup and I keep it in my purse and I do my makeup in the car, in the parking lot, right before I go into work. I have the best lighting and... I don't know, it's just quiet in the car. I usually play YouTube while I'm doing that. If I were to do my makeup in the morning here at home, I leave for work so early that I don't think my husband would be very happy about that because my vanity is in the middle of our room. So this bag is just the stuff that I take with me everywhere and um, it's my everyday makeup. So for as long as I can remember in my history of makeup wearing, I have always at least had mascara. My very first original mascara was, I don't know if you guys remember this, I'm 32 years old, so this is a little bit farther back than maybe like the younger YouTubers here, but it was the Lancome Flex Tensils, and I loved that mascara, and they don't have it anymore, they discontinued it, and I don't know why they did that, because it was an amazing mascara. I kept buying mascaras, trying to look for what Flex Tensils did for me, and I didn't find it till recently when I was listening to an Emily Noel video, and she spoke about the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal, and um, and I found it. I, you know, this is this is what I had been looking for since they discontinued Flex Tensils. Hypnostar didn't do it for me. Um, Grand Grand Duis or whatever that's called, I think, didn't do it for me. The there's one that's like big big something, that one didn't do it for me. This one is amazing. Another thing that, um, this is gonna turn into a YouTube made me buy it video, <laughs> is the, I kept hearing about the Laura Mercier powder. Is it Mercier or Mercier? Who cares? Um, and I didn't want to buy it because it was kind of messy. I don't like loose powders. I've had other loose powders in the past and they get everywhere. And they, since I do my makeup in the car, they get everywhere in my car. And then I have to listen to my husband complain because he cleans the car. Girls who are married or have a boyfriend that cleans their car. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But, um, so I didn't want to have to listen to that. And then I learned about the Laura Mercier translucent powder, but in the pressed setting powder which is so easy to take with you and I absolutely love it. And this is, you know, I use that all the time under my eyes, which is really the only time that I use uh, setting powder is right around here because I don't want it to look like all shiny under my eyes. Um, eyeshadows that I use for work. I use a very neutral palette for work. I use a nude lip for work and just n neutral palette for my eyes and um, Lately, I've been using this one from Lorac, and I got this 
I don't even remember where I got this. I got it a while back. I really love it. I have no idea where to find it, but it was, I think it was part of like a holiday gift set and, um, and it's just such a great work color. I really love it. And then this one I actually bought at Marshall's and I think I got it for like seven bucks. It's bare minerals. They don't have it anymore, but it's another one. And what I love about these palettes and I, and I hope if you guys know of any more like this, um, any other colors or anybody else that does something like this, let me know because I love when they give you a look right on here and they tell you, Hey, here's your work one. Here's your weekend one. Here's your night one. And then it's so easy for us who haven't been doing YouTube for 10 years and don't know what the heck we're doing when we're trying to apply our eyeshadow, but we still want to look like we do. This is another palette that I really like and I got it that I really like and I got it because it, um, a lot of YouTubers were talking about how it's um, similar to the modern Renaissance from Anastasia and that stuff's expensive. You know, I'm a mom, two kids. I love makeup, but um, I have a champagne taste and a beer budget. So <laughs> it's a good option. A lot of my makeup I actually get at Marshall's. And sometimes it's hard because, you know, a lot of their stuff people have put their fingers in it. And um, I have one that's by my job, so I kind of always go by there and. Sometimes I find stuff that I've actually been looking for. Like I found the Anastasia from Beverly Hills subculture palette there. And that was really exciting because I actually really like that palette. And I didn't want to spend the, you know, full price on it. I'm not a full price shopper. Anybody that knows me, you know, if my friends ever see this video, they know that I am not a full price shopper. I don't like paying full price for nothing. This is another one that I got at Marshall's. It is the, um... It is called the Smashbox LA Lights, and it is from years ago. From, you know, I look on YouTube to see how to use it, and like videos come up for like two, three years ago on how to use this product. So a lot of the stuff that I'm showing you isn't stuff that, that I'm saying that you should go out and buy or whatever, because some of it you can't find anymore. But I figured, how do you get to know, like if you are making a girlfriend, right? And you want to see what you have in common, makeup brings a lot of us together, okay? So I always love going through my friend's makeup and just seeing what they have, even though I can't get it anymore. I think it's fun. And um, you guys are going to be my friends, right? So I got this in my FabFitFun box. I think everybody and their mother has this. It's, it's actually really great. I love the message behind this company. And I do use it in the corner and that's in the corner of my eyes and it's super easy to carry around. And for my, you know, everyday work bag, it's, love it. I have these lip glosses, which I told you I'm a nudes girl when I'm going to work. This one's a little bit on the pinker side, but it's kind of like my lip tone. And I love this formula. I heard Jessica Braun uh, Jam Beauty 89 talking about it and I had always used like the Buxom or the Lancome Juicy tubes but they're so sticky and South Florida is so humid and my and my hair is always such a frizzy hot mess and then you know it goes everywhere and it gets stuck on my lips and I don't have that problem with these so when Jessica Brown started talking about the formula for these lip glosses I went to Ulta and I tried it and I loved them and I love how they feel and I do really have to reapply often but I do like how they feel and these you can find and the colors that I have are on repeat and messy bun I have a hard time finding youtubers that have my skin tone and a lot of the ones that I love to follow because they just have such amazing personalities and they're really down-to-earth people don't have my skin color at all like Jessica Braun she's way lighter than me Emily Noel is a lighter shade of medium than I am. And I think, I think I'm like on the more yellowish, warm, um, medium side of things. And I haven't found a YouTube that I, YouTuber that I absolutely love. That Hi guys. So I don't know if you noticed, but, um, my angle has kind of changed and, um, we're in a different spot. And I had to turn off the camera for a little bit because I'm using my phone 
since I haven't I haven't decided if I'm going to invest on a you know a real vlogging camera yet. And I got a call from the vet letting me know that my little beagle puppy, I don't know if I mentioned it before earlier, he's actually getting snipped today and they just called me that he everything's fine, he's doing great and that I can go pick him up later. So anyways, to continue completely off subject from we were talking about makeup. <laughs> Went from makeup to puppies. Yeah, there are lots of order in this on this channel already. So go, to get back to what I was talking about, um, right now I have a ton of bronzers that I kind of uh, switch with. Actually, you know, I remember what I was talking about was the fact that I haven't been able to find a YouTuber that um, that's my skin tone, that I really enjoy their personality and it's somebody that I can connect with and that's important to me. You know, when I'm listening to these people while I'm cleaning around the house or or if I'm um, taking a bubble bath or whatever, I like them to be relatable and people that I would be friends with because I think it's not like when you're watching TV and there's like Hollywood stars and you know that, you know, their life is totally different than yours. Watching YouTubers is like, these are people that you can relate to and it's fun to see what they're doing and to, you know, look into people's lives. So yeah, I have a YouTube obsession, <laughs> but anyways, so, the, the reason why I was talking about that is because sometimes they'll recommend things that I that I think would be great, but I can't always use them because they don't really go with my, um, like when they'll do tutorials for eyeshadows and stuff like that, like the tones they use don't look so great on me. But um, Jessica Braun, you know, Jam Beauty 89 was the one that talked about those lip glosses and I went and I found my shade. And uh, the ones that she, I think she does use on repeat, and I don't, I don't know if she uses Messy Bun, but it's, it's a shade that looked, you know, it's those, both of those shades I think would look really nice on anyone, so that's, that's good. Now moving on to my next product is um, for highlight, I use the Becca. The Becca, um, this one is the Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed in opal. I really like this color. And then for my bronzer, I have several bronzers that I use. I haven't actually, and I kind of use it like a light contouring because I'm not the best at it. And this is one of the ones that I like the most, but I really haven't found one that I can say that I absolutely love. So if you have any suggestions for me, if you guys know maybe a little bit more about this than I do, and you think, you know, there's a color out there that you think that I would absolutely love that would go great with my skin tone, let me know. So this is one that everyone and their mother uses, but it's really so great and I love how it makes my skin look and it doesn't even, it doesn't look like makeup. It's flawless on my skin. It doesn't set in like, I have some like very, barely noticeable fine lines that are um, being formed around here, but this doesn't make them show up more. So I really like it. It's, you know, you know, the, C, the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And uh, I get it in neutral medium. I used to actually get the light and the medium and I would mix it because when they first came out, they had a horrible shade range. Now we have the neutral medium and I think this is pretty close to what I am. I like it. I'm a little bit lighter than normal right now because even though it's an eternal summer in Florida, native Floridians <laughs> do not get in the pool or the beach. <laughs> okay, so I might get in trouble for talking for all native Floridians, but south native floridians we don't do the beach in this time of the year you see people at the beach you know they're tourists so i haven't gotten a whole lot of sun because i don't know i just haven't i haven't been to the beach haven't been to the pool we do that stuff in the summer here guys um so we talked about that i talked about this let me put this stuff to the side or else i'm just going to be repeating stuff this I got in, I think it was an Ipsy bag or Fat Fib Fun. I don't remember. I don't do Ipsy anymore. I love Fat Fib Fun. It's called Trophy Wife from Huda Beauty. I like it. I use it uh, along with the Messy Bun. And it, it's a really pretty shade and it looks really good on me. I'm not going to go into my brushes because I don't, I mean, they're just brushes. There's a ton of them. I don't even know what they're called. They're just brushes, guys. 
really they're just brushes you know same ones we all use you got ones for your face ones for your eyes ones for your cheeks you know the drill oh i dropped something okay and yeah this is another lip liner buxom one that i also really like but it's very similar to the huda one this one's just a little bit bigger so if i don't want to have to be so careful and i'm in a hurry oh my lord my hair looks horrible then i can use the um this one which is a little bit bigger i gotta put my hair up I'm sorry guys, I gotta put my hair up because like I said, I live in South Florida. It is, the humidity is always at like 110% here. And um, my hair's looking a mess right now. I flat ironed it, I put keratin in it. The keratin doesn't last anything in my hair. Kind of a little better. So for eyebrows, I already have, as you can tell, pretty full eyebrows and I don't really shape them. I'll be honest, I do my eyebrows like once or twice a year. And then I just kind of tweeze them and maintain them myself. They may not look so great, you know, to some of you guys, but whatever, I'm happy with them. They're low maintenance. I have don't really have to fill them in a lot and I like it. So this, I kind of use, I use the spoolie more than anything else on this thing, but occasionally I do fill in some like empty spots that I have. And right now I'm using the CoverGirl, just the really skinny one. I don't even know what it's called, but um, there you go. But it's the thinnest one they have. <sighs> Eyeshadow, eyeliner. I have the MAC Pro Longwear Eyeliner. And then I just have the NYX one in brown, the uh, retractable eyeliner. And then this is another brush. Ooh, I'm like throwing things around. This was a YouTube made me buy it that I'm not happy about, but I'm glad I didn't spend a ton of money on it. It's the Pixie Correction Concentrate Brightening Peach, another Emily Noel recommendation. And it's supposed to be like the cheap version, the not cheap because it's not like the quality isn't cheap. It just, it didn't, it doesn't do anything for me. And I think that this is more for people who have dark circles because um, people that have lighter skin and have dark circles and they come across kind of like purplish or bluish. Mine are just, I think it's just my pigmentation. It's, it's hereditary. And I haven't found the correct shade that actually takes them away. So I don't even bother with them anymore. I mean, you can see them right now. I've grown to just live with them because and, can, and when I go out and if I'm going to take a lot of pictures, I do, you know, I do the whole baking thing and they look great and I use this, the Tarte Shape Tape and on pictures, they look amazing. But in person, I feel like I just look better if I don't have them. I mean, everybody that knows me knows I have circles. It's who I am. I'm going to embrace it. I love it. When I was younger, I used to worry more about it. Right now, it's like, I don't care. Oh, well. <laughs> it is what it is. I haven't been able to find anything better, so. Um, these are little, these are lipsticks that are actually, I got as samples. Um, one's Bare Minerals, and it's another nude shade that I absolutely love. Oops. And then this one came with that little lip liner. Actually, this one wasn't a sample. This one I got in like a kit that was like the little Buxom lip gloss. This, I already ran out of that Buxom lip gloss, which is why I ended up buying the Dose ones. After that, I ran out of those. It came with this, and then it came with this, and then it came with the little mini Buxom. And I do use this quite often because, like I said, I use nude colors for work. It's the best thing. I lost my lipstick. Thank goodness that... Oh, back. Thank goodness that uh, it wasn't open because I really like... that. If you've ever tried this, it's the new Bare Minerals Bare Pro Lipstick. It feels like silk on your lips so good so good i'm actually going to try it right now for you guys let's see there goes my hair again mm. and then it dries down to like a matte but it's just so it doesn't feel like that ultra drying like matte color it's it's really good i like it Oh, this is another find that I've never seen anything like this again. And I really need to know 
where else I would find this because I looked on their website and I didn't see it. I got it at Marshall's and it was on clearance and I got it for like seven bucks and I love it. It comes with, it's from Tweezerman and it comes with this adorable little pouch, right? And like I told you, I don't do my eyebrows. I do them like maybe once or twice a year and then I just keep them up every day. You kind of look in the mirror and, and take the, the ones that are like out of place. So, um, I always have a set of tweezers with me all the time. Doesn't fail. And this comes with like a little one. It comes with this eyebrow gel that I love. And it's such a good eyebrow gel. It doesn't make my eyebrows hard at all, but it still holds them in place. So I need to like go through my my eyebrows again because this one looks so much better to me than this one. But this one's always been like the misbehaved child. <laughs> I just had crazy eyes there, didn't I? And oh, and then it comes with the highlighter, but I haven't really ever used the highlighter. I don't know. Let me use the highlighter now and see if it if it's any good. I don't know. I mean, it kind of looks weird because it's literally the only thing I'm wearing in my eyes, right? Yeah, okay. So that's that. And then I have this MAC pencil sharpener. And when I was at MAC, the MAC sharpener was pretty expensive. And then I found it at Nordstrom Rack for literally like $4.99. That's it. That is basically my routine. You know, I first, I go in. Oh, I have a primer that I really like too, but it's, let me go here. I mean, what else do we have to do? Okay, all right, so I love, guys, if you would see my setup right now, you'd be highly disappointed. <laughs> it's literally on a chair on something that's not even really supposed to be a tripod. I have my phone charging into the wall. Whatever, we're doing what we can with this. We're doing what we can with what's been given to us. So this is the primer that I use. I really like it. I definitely notice a difference when I put it on. And I usually use it right here because I have, I usually use it right here because of my pores. Um, I don't have huge pores, but I have noticed that with age, after my 30s, I've, they've been getting bigger and more noticeable. So um, I have skincare, which if, let me know if you're interested and I'll do a skincare video. And then I use this setting spray because I love how it missed. And I actually also, this is another uh, Marshall find and I got this for like nine bucks. Um, and it's, I love the size of it because it fits perfect in my bag. So that's it for today. Uh, this is gonna probably take me forever and a lifetime to edit because I'm new. But, well, let's see where the rest of this takes us. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope I didn't bore you. I'm going to try to edit this so that it's not so boring and so running on and scattered and everywhere. And I, I'm really excited about this new adventure of mine and this kind of pushing myself out of my comfort zone. And I'm excited about hearing from you guys and seeing what else you want me to put out there and, you know, what'll kind of catch your attention. And, um... Thank you. Thank you for, if you made it this long, thank you so much. And I am so grateful for you. So see you next time. Have a wonderful day and take care.